Liverpool are sitting at the top of the Premier League table one point clear of Manchester City with 10 games to go. The Reds have been going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pep Guardiola's side this season, and it will likely come down to the wire over who takes the domestic crown. Already during this campaign former Liverpool players and managers have had a massive say over how the top of the table looks. Two examples that immediately spring to mind are when Rafa Benitez's Newcastle beat City 2-1 at St James Park in January, and when Roy Hodgson's Crystal Palace recorded a sensational 3-2 victory at the Etihad in December. Read every word from Klopp's pre-Everton press conference here Both results, commanded by former Liverpool managers, did the Reds a huge favour, and that has in no small part contributed to the current current Premier League position they are in. As we know there are now 10 games left, and the outcome of those will decide who is crown champions of the 2018-19 season. Video loading video unavailable click to play tap to play the video will start in 8 cancel play now and X Reds, as they already have done, are set to play a massive part in the Premier League race as it enters its final stages, because City are set to face those who have been involved around and filled in no fewer than 6 matches before the end of the season. Bournemouth on Saturday, March 2, Manchester City travel down to the Vitality Stadium on the south coast to face Bournemouth. The Cherries are a difficult opponent at their home ground, and when Guardiola's men line up they will be faced by three former Liverpool players in the form of striker Dominic Solanke, on loan right-back Nathaniel Klein and midfielder Jordan Ibe. Whatever way you look at it, they are a talented trio, and could be the first set of former Reds to make City stumble. Fulham in the Premier League City then face Watford, before heading to Craven Cottage, to play Fulham on March 30. The defending champions will come up against the attacking double act of Ryan Babel and Lazar Markovic. It's fair to say Markovic, who signed for Fulham on deadline day in January, owes Liverpool one, and could do them a big favour, to wipe away some of the ill feeling, if he hits the back of the net at the end of this month. The Reds also know about the talents of Babel who made 91 appearances for the club, and can be a real handful on his day. Cardiff after Fulham Guardiola's men welcome Cardiff City to the Etihad. They will be a dangerous prospect, and likely fighting for Premier League survival come April 6, when this match takes place. Amongst their ranks is Le Peltier, a Liverpool-born defender who would absolutely love to stop City scoring against his side, and in turn, doing his boyhood club, who he also used to play for, a big favour. Palace it's another challenging away game for City after the Cardiff match as they travel to Selhurst Park on April 14, and again the former Reds just do not stop appearing. There's firstly Christian Benteke who is a very credible threat at the head of the field, meanwhile Mamadou Sakho is a commanding presence in the heart of the backline, and he can be a very difficult opponent, when he gets it right, and not to mention the fact the defender still thinks about his time at Liverpool. And in the defence there's also Martin Kelly who made 62 appearances for the Reds, before switching to Palace, and could be another who could trip City up by keeping their forward line quiet as a big favour to his hometown club. Burnley City have a break of playing Liverpool players for their two games after Palace a home match against Tottenham and a Manchester derby at Old Trafford, before they then face Reds favourite Peter Crouch at Turf Moor. 
It would be simply incredible if Crouch plays and is the one who can score against City on April the 28th to give Liverpool the upper hand in the title race. Whatever happens though the Clarets will present a difficult challenge, because they look likely to be fighting for the Premier League survival. Leicester this will be City's penultimate game of the season and they will be facing former Liverpool manager Brendan Rodgers who almost led the Reds to the title in the 2013-14 campaign. Rodgers was unveiled as Fox's manager earlier this week, and by the time Guardiola's men come calling on May the 4th he will be very settled club and every Liverpool support knows just how devastating a Rodgers side can be. It also, as script would have it, is the same weekend the Reds travel to Newcastle and face Rafa Benitez meaning two former Liverpool managers are going to have a pivotal role in how this table looks at the end of the season. Manchester City that concludes the opponents Manchester City face that have former Reds in their ranks. A note also to consider is that ex-Liverpool star Raheem Sterling, who played his best football at Anfield under Rodgers, is one of City's key players. The winger is, of course, another who will have a massive say in how this season plays out come May 12.